Hi guys, uh, right, more making things up as we go along, simple watercolour painting. It's only simple when you can do it, isn't it? Just put a bit of sienna, the usual way, sienna, just warm it up. I've got a lot of water on here, probably a bit too much. Right, okay, so uh, we'll... Uh, uh, it's quite bright today, but not, it, it wasn't, it was a lot of rain. But I just want to put a little bit of, uh, I'm looking at my sky, I just want to put a bit of, bit of low. Blue. Breaking through, so let's just, a bit heavier blue here. It's higher up. Okay, but a bit of cloud. I'm going to use Payne's Grey and Alizarin. Now remember, this all dries much lighter than when you put it put it on. So. Now I've got a good dark bit over the top there now. Now remember, don't be frightened by this because it's um, all dry as light. Okay, and now we'll dry it with the hair dryer. So take your headphones off, plenty of warning. Ready, go. Okay, oh, get off. Right, uh, now we're going to put a bit of a low background in using those colours. Uh, so just a bit of blue, grey, just a sky colour. And we'll just put in a little bit of I'll keep me uh, right okay so let's get some nice cloudy stuff nicer uh, yellow greeny color I usually put darker on the but I will I put trees on top of this So a bit of heavier sienna in there now. I'll do I'll do uh, a, a, a sort of a river. Now some good warm green.
Right, okay, let's uh, I've done a similar one to this earlier, but I'm just oh. I, I I love the um Somerset levels. It's, we've got an old friend lives there. Well, friend got friends now. The old neighbour friends we made years ago with our daughter's schools. And they they live on the in the levels, but we had a big flood there three or four years ago. Um, our friends were well, sadly, well, the husbands died. Um, the water came up to their to their garden. Right, now we want some sort of grey. Grey green, I think. For sort of a reeds coming up here. I'll just show some, like the shadow area in the grass. Sort of like that. I'm going to put some trees on this bank. Got some good, good yellows, good greens in here. You have these banks and sort of inlets in the banks, the meander, and you get these shadowy areas. Not too much detail in this, in, in that distance, having said that, I've put it in right. Let's have a bit of a bush there. Eh? Turn these things into opportunities rather than mistakes. So let's just All right, a bit of, bit of background. I'll use a small hake for that, which I'm breaking in. Now, if you're having trouble with your hakes and using them, it's probably because you're using too, too much pressure. Well, I'll just show you the, the colour that I want. There, okay? So we we'll just put this. I took some photographs of the River Parrot several years, well, last year and the year before. It's incredibly lovely, not far from Glastonbury, not far from where you have the uh, Kingsbury Episcopi sort of uh, cider brewery, where they do the wonderful apple brandy, which they can't call Calvados because it's not in Calvados. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible 
but we'll call it simple uh, landscape, but just more little trees all the way across there. Water, just that lovely blue, bluey green from the ultramarine and and uh, yellow. You can't always see what the other corner of the brush is doing. It's all you've made paint one tree and it's painting another one. Look how how gentle that is. Look, just just touching. But this paper is quite smooth, but it's a lovely quality, even though it's only £90. Let's just make it a little bit darker there. Leave plenty of, or try to leave plenty of air in the trees. Clean out there a little bit, maybe, or paint over it. Um, I want to get some bushes now because I, I remember that um, the river parrot had lots of bushes along the the banks. So here we are. Let's uh, put them in. Put one or two in. Just a touch of yellow in there. Okay, got a good dark bit on the top here. Right, to make something of that there. So paint's grey, green from yellow and paint's grey. Control the water by having a cloth by your your hand, the your edge of your painting hand. Too wet. Anyway. Let's uh, just etch into that. Okay. Uh, now when that's dry, I'm going to just do a bit of a... Well some more shadow in there I think. So just blue, blue and grey. Okay now I'm going to dry that because I want to put a bit of the sky colour in, in, in the river. OK, 
Okay, now, uh, a bit of dry brush now, so sort your colours out. So we've got a bit of blue, so we'll have, we'll have the bit of blue, but just I'm going to put a bit of cloud, so a bit of, bit of alizarin, and then a little bit of okay. We'll leave that at that. I can put I'll dry it, but I can put some little, little ripples in there. So headphones off. I want to put a couple of larger trees framing the uh, focal point there. Uh, now I'll get my little rigger. Like right, that'll do. Now, um, so we'll have the trees coming out of this bit here, about the undergrowth. So bright, sort of bright green. Plenty of, plenty of green in that. I will uh, very light. So I can cover up some of that. Now a bit of Payne's grey. For the shadow side of that. And a similar one on the other side. Okay, let's uh, just dry that off, then I can put a little bit of detail in it. I want some more defined, hard shadow area in, in there, so take most of the brush, just yellow and Payne's grey, very dark green, got a bit of rye there, it's, uh, it might not have been uh, quite dry but anyway Let's just put a bit of detail in, in here. Okay, that'll do. I think we could probably bring a little bit of that green 
down in the reflection here. Oh, the brush is too, too much water. Yeah, the wretched dog started. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on that one. Uh, Feel the tooth in the paper now. Okay, it might be a bit muddy, but uh, anyway, let's leave this morning uh, for YouTube. Let's keep my palette when you look at that. I'll put a mount on it in a moment, I just want to keep the palette nice and nice and clean. I always do this before I put it in the Ziploc bag, which I'll do now. Oh no I won't, yes I will. I was going to sign it but I'll sign that in pen. Just zip up, that's it, that's it, nice and airtight now. Okay, right, melt. Uh, uh, melt. Probably a bit, bit muddy in there, but, but okay, it's in the shower, cloud shadow. Uh, so it's quite a simple one. Uh, using a couple of hakes, uh, just doodle these things, that's what I've done. But get plenty of variety in your colours, don't have a completely flat colour. Or if you do, you've got to sort of put over, go over it with some other contrasting colours, some shadows. We've got the banks coming up here and you've got to show the, the depth of those banks, those inlets in the bank. You know, I haven't made a particularly great job of it. The first one I did today was the best one. I think let's just wind up a little bit. No, it's all in the frame. There we go. All right, I'll see you soon, folks. Bye bye.